Watching my parents doing crazy things to continue working on music, um, I always thought I never want to be a musician. It's crazy and it's unstable and just it looked like a very hectic life. And I didn't really understand the passion for music that they had back then. But I ended up following my parents' footsteps and carrying on the family business, and I'm a musician now as well. And now I understand the driving passion behind it, and it's okay. I don't remember how I came to start recording albums because I was so young. I think I was about 12 when somehow EMI of America wanted to me to do an album, so I made a full album with about 12, 13 songs, I wrote them all, it was in English, and then EMI USA disappeared and turned into version, or something happened to the record company, so it never went out, and then someone in the Japanese EMI heard the album and asked me why couldn't I write in Japanese, and I said, okay, why not, I'll try, and I gave it a shot. And that Japanese album just really blew up in Japan. I didn't feel any different writing in Japanese or English, and I didn't set out to, you know, make an album for the American market or American people or anything like that. It, there were differences that came out naturally through the process of writing in a different language, obviously, because it sounds different, and the nature of Japanese and English, they're just it's just so different that um, both have pros and cons, but I found that with English, I could be more upfront, powerful, and in a good way, which included things like humor and sexiness and playfulness and some poetic language that in Japanese might sound all too, like, too much of, like, weirdness or too much goofiness. So there was a new freedom with English that really let me make new things that I don't think I would have come up with otherwise. I think becoming really famous at 15 was difficult. It can't be easy for anyone. Um, well, even if you're at school, you're 15, and it's difficult to grow up because you're scrutinized and you're very sensitive about your, yourself and you're very conscious about things you don't have to be conscious about when you're older. But that for that to happen with a whole country was really difficult for me. And when you're young, you can't... Really go out and do crazy things. If well, if you're 15, you can't. And I can't be out drinking or doing crazy things. Um, and even if I get a lot of money out of it, what? Like at 15, I can't buy a car. I can't drive yet. I can't buy a house. I, mean, I couldn't really do anything. So at that point, it was difficult. But then you know, I got used to it, and I'm I'm legal for anything now, so I can really do whatever I want. So I'm enjoying it all now. It's good. A lot of a lot of guys came up to me and asked me what I what I mean in the song You Make Me Want to Be a Man. To me it was pretty simple and straightforward. I was trying to deal with my husband and it was the first time I really came face to face with another human being. And the things that we couldn't understand about each other or things you argued about, I felt like it was because some of it was just like a sex issue. Like I couldn't. If, I felt like if I could be a man, I could understand him more, in some ways. So I wanted to understand him, and I thought, well, I wish I were a man, and that's why I wrote the song. <laughs> when I first heard about Flux, and they asked me if I wanted to be the first artist to be involved with it heavily, the explanation I got, I was just like really confused with it. Like, oh, what is Flux? <laughs> Well, it's very simply, it's just a great system where you can download music and a short animation with it on your mobile phone. And I thought that's great. It's not a far-fetched idea, and it's something... I was surprised we can't, we don't have that service already. And when I heard that the name of the animators I could work with if I decided to go into it, I was just like, wow, it's such an honor, I would love to do it. Because, you know, Japan is well so well-known for animations, and the creators are so smart and just amazing <laughs> creative people. So, um, before the, the whole production began on the animations, I met with Koji Morimoto, and he, he 
um, agreed to sort of oversee the entire thing with all these different animators working together. And he made a couple himself. Um, so he wanted me to tell him if I had any input. Like, because they, all the animators have to interpret the, the songs I've made. And he wanted to know if there were any imageries that I had in mind when I made them that could help give them ideas or hints, make sure they're not making something I'd be unhappy about. They were very worried at first that I would say, no, I hate this, this is not what I wrote the song about, or be mad at different interpretations, and I said, that's ridiculous. That's what I want to see. I don't want to see something I could draw. you know. And what all the, all the things that, the finished products that come up that I get to see on the websites are just amazing. I'm so happy I, I decided to go along with this. Yeah, I've been asked this question in interviews, even like today before this, so you're 22 and you've accomplished this and this. What sort of aspirations do you have left? What do you want to do? Um, I never really aspired to be a musician. And it all just kind of fell together, just, just came on me, and I went with it. And I was lucky because it was really what I wanted to do. But if I have any conscious goals or aspirations now, it might be things that sound a bit normal, like finishing university when I'm older, maybe even a grandmother, I don't know when. And actually now I just want to try being a housewife and, you know, clean the house, go get groceries and um, take the trash out, things like that, without thinking about the pressures of, you know, making new music.